my name is Jasmine and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Y'all saw the title, y'all saw the thumbnail, y'all know what we doing today. We doing a Q&A, a, a life update, we doing all that in today's video. So we're not going to talk too much, we're just going to get straight into the video. First question is, is it scary knowing that you're an adult and you'll be doing things on your own? Honestly, yes and no because I will have my sister and my mom to kind of guide me through stuff. I'll have people to talk to about things and stuff like that. So honestly, it's not scary. It's more exciting just because I know that I'll be able to do a lot of things on my own And I'll be able to be independent and stuff like that So it's more of an excitement type of feeling But at the same time, yes, it is a little scary Anything you'll do differently once summer is over? Honestly, yes, as of right now, I'm chilling It's summertime, so I'm chilling I'm just enjoying, you know, my summer and stuff like that It is a little bit boring, but I mean, I I, I guess, you know it'll. I'll have to make do until summer is over, of course But once summer summer is over I'll be doing a lot more stuff um I'm not going to speak too much on it because I've noticed when you kind of move in silence that's when everything is just a lot better so I won't speak too much on it but just know that y'all be getting a lot of content y'all will be seeing a different me I'm just it's just so much stuff but we're not gonna talk too much on that but yes I will be doing a lot of things differently any advice for incoming freshmen or high school students in general honestly I would just say as your, your freshman year I'll say your first what two years of high school school your freshman year and your sophomore year I say just like work your ass off like for real I mean I know I did like I literally had to work my ass off to get to where I was trying to get like especially to get like dual credits and stuff like that like if you could take dual credit as a freshman at whatever school like if you could do dual credit I suggest that you do dual credit because that shit will help you so much especially if you're going to college but it'll also just help you overall I literally my school requirements because of dual credits I have more credits than I'm supposed to have so definitely take advantage of all of that stuff take advantage of sponsorship i mean um scholarships take advantage of all of that stuff and really use that your first two years and just use it throughout high school in general you don't want to wait till the last minute to like start doing that stuff look into college is your freshman year like all that stuff because I low-key should have did I mean I did do my research but at the same time I kind of knew what my path was going to be I was very wishy-washy throughout the whole my whole entire high school year but once once senior year came I really started to grasp what I wanted to do and then I made sure that I took the steps to do what I wanted to do and that's that I would say that I would say find you a cool group of friends stay out of drama just stay to yourself if you really anti-social like me then I would suggest just stay by yourself just chill and just enjoy you know school do you um go to all the school events that's how you can find friends so i would say go to all the school events and stuff like that really get involved because i'm telling you that stuff will help if you're good at basketball football cheering dance literally join that stuff choir all that stuff join that stuff because it's gonna help you in the long run so definitely do that are you moving out <laughs> yes i am moving out so I am moving out. I've literally been trying to hold my tongue, which is why I'm making this video early. By the time y'all see this, I'll probably be on the plane or already gone or something like that. But yes, I am moving out. Um, I'm going to be, I'm not going to tell y'all where I'm moving to yet because I still want to surprise y'all with where I'm moving to. But I am moving out. I'm going to be staying with my sister as her roommate. So I will essentially be living on my own um, just with the roommate. My sister will be my roommate. So I'm essentially living on my own. I get to do whatever I want, um, go wherever I want. I can pretty much come and go as I please and stuff like that. So it's essentially me living by myself. Um, I will. Um, the only thing, that's the only good part is that I'm not moving. Like I'm moving out, but I still really don't have to. Well, I still will have to kind of sort of pay rent there. So that's fine with me um but yes i am moving out i'll be staying with my sister for a little while i don't move until august i don't leave until like august so probably by the time y'all are seeing this it'll this video will most likely be up already um so yes um i'm super excited and nervous and sad all in one because number one i'm like i'm leaving my like this is where i grew up i'm leaving my childhood home but at the same time it's good for me it's good for self-development self-growth just like so much overall health and i can actually be more independent which is what i've been trying to do but it's not a bad thing that i'm moving out you know if as you get older you realize that you can't really do much in your parents house and you can't you can't be independent because you still have to follow their rules so it's kind of hard to be independent and follow someone else's rules 
clothes but with me moving out i really won't have to do that and i feel like it'll just be good for me i'll be able to work on myself while i'm there and stuff like that and i'll be making my money so um i already started uh decluttering my room and stuff like that um it may not look like it but like so far as closet and stuff like that i started i literally filmed a whole video of me decluttering my room and like cleaning up and stuff like that so once it gets a little bit closer time for me to leave i will get started on packing up everything else that i want to take with me and stuff like that we would get a college series Sadly, no, y'all will not be getting a college series because I sadly decided that I'm not going to college and it is okay. Um, not everybody goes to college. I still have time if I decide that I do want to go to college. I have time to say, oh, well, yeah, I want to go to college. It doesn't have to be a four-year college. In college, I, I just really feel like, I'm not going to say college isn't for me, but it's not for me. Like, I really, high school was already enough and I already understand that high school and college are two different things, but and it's like super, super different. But me personally, I feel like me just having, doing my pathway that I'm taking, which is continuing to do YouTube and proceed with other things that I wanna do, which I'm praying, hoping and wishing that I get it. But like, I, I really feel like that's more my speed rather than going to college. It's not necessarily me trying to take the easy way out because I still have to go to school to do what I wanna do, but it's not college. If I do decide later on to go to college, then it will always be there for me and I could always go. I just don't want to. And then on top of that, I don't want to risk being like financially like in debt because of student loans and stuff like that or just all that stuff. And I understand that there's financial aid and all that. I just... Future me here. Don't mind me. I just woke up and I just needed to edit this video. But basically what I'm trying to say, really my biggest fear with going to college is the financial part. Like, yes, cool, you got the, the fun and game. Like, that's all cool. You get your social interactions. You learn what you need to learn. You graduate. But on top of that, you still have to pay. And with this new generation, college is expensive as hell. Like, it's expensive. For me, I just want to wait until I feel like I'm at least somewhat straight enough to be like, okay, I could go to college. But as of right now, I'm just going to enter the workforce, which is nothing wrong with that. Many people do it. I'm just going to enter the workforce, go to trade school, and call it a day. So, yeah. I want to save myself the stress. For the sake of my mental health, I'm going to save myself the stress and just proceed to do what I want to do. How does it feel to know you're done with high school? Honestly, it feels great to know that I will never have to wake up at 8 a.m., 7 a.m. to log on to a computer to do freaking schoolwork. It feels great to know that I don't have to hear my mom fussing at me because I missed a class or because I have so many absences. It feels so great to know that I can be, like, I don't have to worry about being absent. I don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta turn that in. Did I pass? Did I study? Did I study long enough? Did I study harder? Like, I literally don't have to worry about none of that shit. I could just kind of relax and go ahead and get into my adulthood and I'm just so excited for this next chapter this next chapter will you stop doing YouTube no I will not stop doing YouTube I will do YouTube until I'm like I don't know I will keep doing YouTube for a while because I really do enjoy doing this and like YouTube is like really something that I find like it's like therapy for me damn near like i just love doing youtube like it is so fun i love sitting down editing looking back at footage being like oh yeah and then it also on top of that it's like this is like my visual diary for myself so that way when i'm got when i'm whenever i'm on my deathbed i can sit back and be like i really lived it up so no i would never stop doing youtube not no time soon what did you graduate with so i graduated with three chords one for um doing dual credits the second chord was for me completing a industry-based certification and then the other core i believe was ab honor roll or something like that i literally don't remember um but i graduated with three chords i graduated with um a 4.2 um gpa weighted out of a five Point zero, which is like super freaking good and i graduated with i believe i want to say like 29 credits so yeah if you go to college would you stay in texas or move out of state 
Nine times out of ten, I would probably go to a college. If I did go to college, I would still stay in Houston um, or like Texas in general. Um, the main college that I was looking into, which I, is always an option for me, is um, PVAMU, I believe. I said that right. Um, I, they have the program there for me. They also have other things that I want to do, such as cosmetology, um, digital communications. So I can always go to that school. All right, you guys. So I know this video was short, but that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and touch base on some questions that you guys had. So far as me moving out and stuff like that and questions about me moving out or anything related to me moving out, we will. I will make sure that I do another like an updated Q&A about how life is going, where I am, where I will be currently staying at and stuff like that. I'll make sure to do something more updated so just so you guys can see like what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. Of course, I'll vlog and stuff like that when I move. That is to be in for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you stayed to the end of this video be sure to comment the box emoji because i'll be moving out soon ah! make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe turn on post notification bell share with a friend if you like see me outside of youtube y'all know the deal all of my social medias will be linked in the description box down below without further ado i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video and until then bye